Okay, so we're in IDS and we're going to go ahead and import uh, using the import to function. I just left click next to the import icon, that drop down arrow, and choose import to. When I left click on that, I will go ahead and navigate to where I downloaded uh, that file. Select the file, hit open, and now you'll see it appear on my screen. And you can see here that uh, you know you do have the connecting stitches. They are grouped together, so unfortunately we can't input um, we cannot input trims between each letter with the uh, anyway, the, the, the uh, I'm sorry with the color sequence or the uh, stitch sequence on the left hand side. So it's a little bit more difficult. What we have to do is we have to uh, zoom in here and see where the last stitch is of the H and the first stitch is of the E, the last stitch of the E, first stitch of the A, so on and so forth. So I've zoomed in with my zoom in tool, right click to deselect. I am in the regular stitch mode. I'm going to choose uh, the needle penetrations so I can view those. And I'm also going to go into edit stitch mode. So I left click on the edit mode up here on my screen, or you know, on my standard our edit toolbar. So I'm going to place my cursor over what I think is the last stitch. My cursor turns into a little crosshair. I left click and X will mark that stitch. If I use the up arrow key while I am on a stitch, it will go to the previous stitches. If I use the down arrow key, it will go to the next stitches. So in using the down arrow key, and the up arrow key, I can go between previous and next. So I am going to find where basically these two stitches are. I will go to the last stitch of the H. I can see that by using the arrows. And with that, we are going to go up to stitch. We're going to insert stitch. And you can see my cursor is now connected to uh, the the thread in between the H and the E. I'm going to go off, you know, it can be up here. I left click to insert a stitch. I hit escape. After I've inserted that stitch with my cursor on it, with it still being a, um, a marker, I'm going to right click on it, go down, replace stitches by, and then trim. And then if I scroll down, you're going to see there's a trim now. I'm going to go to the last stitch of what I think is the E, left click on it, I'll use the down arrow key which will go to the next stitch, I got lucky, and I will go to the last stitch of the E, I'll go to accessories, then I'll go to, I'm sorry, I'll go to stitch, insert stitch, left click, press escape, now while it's still marking that stitch I'll right click and then replace stitches by trim. Scroll on over. The next one, there's the A. I'll use the down arrow key. It's going to the tie stitches, and then I'll go to the L. I'll go to the last stitch of the A. I'll go to stitch, insert stitch, come up here, left click, press escape, now right click, replace stitches by trim. And again, last stitch of the L, use the down arrow, I can see that down will advance forward. Uh, I'll go to the last stitch of the L, stitch, insert stitch, I just come up here, left click, press escape, right click, replace stitches by trim. So I would just continue going through this design, stitch, insert stitch, left click, press escape, right click, replace stitches by trim. So that is the last of health. Now we'll scroll over here. Left click, use the down arrow key. Now a quick key to insert a stitch is S on my keyboard. Left click, escape, right click, Replace stitches by trim. Same thing again. S, left click, escape, right click, replace stitches by trim. Uh, hold, hold on one second.
press S, left click, escape, right click, replace stitches by trim, and the last couple, I found that stitch, S, left click, escape, right click, trim, and the reason I'm inserting stitches is so that uh, um, it doesn't mess up any of the tie stitches that are already programmed in here. So S, left click, escape, right click, replace it by a trim. So now that we, oh, forgot, we've got a couple more. Press S, left click, escape, right click, trim. Same thing, S, left click, escape, right click, and trim. So now that we have all those trims in there, I'll go ahead and hit A on my keyboard. You can see everything. I will turn off the edit mode by left clicking and turn off the needle penetrations. And now you can see that all of um, my letters have trims in between, and I can now re-export this. Use a drop down arrow next to export, click export to. I can save over it, hit save, say yes. And now, just to show you, I'm going to go re import it, same design, you know, or the, the design I saved over, open it, and now you can see your trims. So you should be good to go with that. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.